back over there. Ah, there's more over there. We just got this shot. We need someone right now. Oh my God! Oh my God! Operation Bushmaster is the capstone experience of the operational military medicine curriculum at the Uniformed Services University. It represents a mock deployment to the notional country of Pandacar where we present our students with as many challenges that we can possibly generate that represent the, uh, the leadership and operational challenges that they, that they can be expected to see in the real world as they graduate and deploy into their first assignment. The exercise involves two classes of medical students with our fourth years role playing as medical providers in the battalion aid station while our first years are role playing as casualties to support the medical simulation. I got some bruising. Okay. So I got blunt injury. That was actually pretty awesome because I got to be the patient, see how bumpy the ride gets when they're carrying you on the litter, um, see how chaotic it gets and how confused they can get. Um, but they did really well. They diagnosed me right away, got me squared away to the helicopter. I'm one of the medics, I'm here to help you. So you're in, you're in, a, you're in an ID class. Because war is hell and war is chaos in general, we'll not only have our patients that we'll have to treat, but we'll have pyrotechnics that'll add to the noise and the confusion. We'll have, again, moulage patients that will look realistic. We'll have simulated uh, patients that say there's a chest tube that needs to be inserted into a patient. Well, we'll have a simulator right next to it. And so it'll be a realistic simulation of combat and chaos. Your commander is going to tell you what needs to get done. And that means that you're going to have to build the tent while you're receiving casualties, while you're going out on missions, while you're planning routes. You've got to do everything all at the same time. That's what's different between this and civilian medicine. Fort Indian Town Gap is a National Guard training base in Pennsylvania. It was primarily chosen because it was close to the university. It's about an hour and a half uh, drive here from Bethesda. And uh, in addition to that, they have a number of uh, resources in place to support units like ours that don't have any military equipment. So through all the operational problems, the idea is to introduce adaptive leadership challenges that the students have to face make decisions on. Um, there often are not correct answers or incorrect answers, but they're simply decision points that we hope challenge the students to broaden their perspectives a little bit on the way things work in the real world. So in our simulation, what we've tried to do is produce as much realism as possible. Part of the realism is theatrical makeup. We, uh, we have a number of makeup artists that have uh, really become experts in applying makeup in a way that looks very realistic. We've actually moulaged over 900 patients. The day the um, IED blasts, where it makes it look like the skin is blown up. The TOC is the uh, TOC, is the Tactical Operations Center. This is really the center for, uh, for operations. It's where the commander monitors the progress of the battle, where he makes his decisions. His staff works in the TOC in order to bring in information into one place where he can then uh, maintain situa situational awareness of what's going on and, and make appropriate decisions. Uh, battle captain basically directs uh, everything that's going on outside uh, in our theater, so at the FOBs and whatnot. All the platoons uh, have different movements and uh, that they have to execute. And here we just uh, push out everybody and ensure that they are moving at the appropriate time and in the appropriate, in the appropriate place. This particular station collects all the assessment cards for the students, organizes them, scans them, puts all the grades in so that eventually at the um, conclusion of the experience, um, we figure out who the top scores are and who the honor graduate is for Bushmaster. Beyond that, we organize all the cards so that we can hand them back out to the students and that they get the feedback that comes from all of the people that assess them. There's a observer, uh, controller, or evaluator for the uh, leadership. Uh, there's an evaluator for combat stress control, uh, meaning how we deal with behavioral health. We have an evaluator for um, ambulance uh, team leaders. Uh, these are the folks that go out and get the casualties to see how they go and get them, how they take care of them in route. Medical care evaluator or physician evaluator, and they're evaluating them on their technical expertise in medical care. The, the 
the mass casualty exercise has become a Bushmaster tradition as we uh, end the exercise, it, it, it always ends with a very large mass casualty or mass cal experience. So the mass casualty exercise w was awesome. There was a simulated gunfire going off. There was an overwhelming number of patients. The necessity to move these individuals from the point of care to a definitive point of care, all culminating our previous 72 hours of, uh, of tasks that we performed. These young men and women are learning early in their medical career uh, what they're really going to face as they go out and become military physicians. As you know, the majority of the physicians in the military don't come from uses, and they have to learn this as on-the-job training, uh, oftentimes when they're thrown into these situations. I think this really gives these students a, a leg up and uh, a better understanding of what we really signed up for. We redesigned this course a couple of uh, years ago in order to convert the classroom phase leading up to Operation Bushmaster into a pre-deployment workup. We kick off a number of experiences which mirror what a medical officer would be expected to do during the pre-deployment workup, um, but done in an educational environment where they are discrete learning activities that support those tasks. Okay, so hey, this morning let's talk about uh, the VC wanted to focus on uh, the personal replacement kind of issues, and we understand that's kind of a one function. Yeah, I mean, the, the rock drills are really helpful because they help you, help you see what the line side uh, of the world is thinking about in terms of where they're moving their troops and where they're doing their offensive operations or defensive operations, um, and then kind of medically how you can fit in there, so. Staff work, we, we have them go through a number of planning ex exercises that focus on both military planning and medical planning, uh, dealing with health service support. At this time, at this time, you should have an order prepared on your clipboard and staged on your field. You should have your outgoing delivery stage in your outgoing delivery box, and you should have accounted for your penalties. So that's a, a unique way of showing us how medical logistics works. We don't believe, or we don't, we expect a certain supply order to be filled and it doesn't get fulfilled. So how do we adjust our operation? It was a unique way of showing that instead of having an hour, two hour lecture on it. Um, we did it more interactively. Interacting with commanders, we, we have a series of problems, for instance, where students are provided various problems that would be of command interest, and so they're asked to provide a formal, uh, quick update brief to the commander on those tasks, and they get evaluated on their briefing skills. So uh, a number of uh, very intense experiences that, that range over those two weeks, and the students really are frankly quite busy during that time. That classroom phase has become very important in leading up to what happens in the field exercise that we call Bushmaster. Remember that everything you do is for the support of those servicemen and their family members that we serve. This commitment we share and this commitment will get us through the hardest operational trials of our future deployments together that will make those you faced in Pandacar pale in comparison.